everyone. You've made it. It's the last talk of the afternoon, the headliner, the one you've been all waiting for, how you can test at scale with Gradle managed devices. My name is Adarsh Fernando. I'm a product manager for Android developer tools. And before we kind of get into what are Gradle, Gradle managed devices and why, they're, why you should be using them, I think we can all take a moment to appreciate that Android ecosystem is quite diverse. Lots of different screen sizes, form factors, OEMs. And while that diversity is great for users, for quality-driven teams who want to catch issues across all these devices before they hit users, it can still be a real challenge. Now, Android emulators does provide a lot of flexibility in allowing you to create those different types of device shapes and sizes across different API levels but properly leveraging them to run scalably and reliably on your CI is still a challenge. That's why we've worked on Gradle managed devices. What if you could just describe to Gradle the devices you want to run your tests on, and then it tries to do so in a reliable, optimized way for you? Well, let's take a look how that would work. Well, in the initialization phase, it creates the devices you ask for, including downloading SDK components as required. It creates a zero state snapshot that it can then snap the devices back to between test runs for more consistent test results. And then as it's running your tests across those devices in parallel, it's also generating a test cache so it can automatically skip tests that don't need to run again. Finally, it tears down your devices, releasing resources back to your workstation for its next job and then generates the test artifact that then you can use to open up in a browser or an Android studio. Now, this all sounds great. How do you get started? Well, it only takes a couple of lines in your build.gradle file, starting with the manage devices closure. And in this closure, we define a device. Here, we're defining the uh, Pixel 2 device that's running API level 31 and uses the AOSP image. We could use Google if we wanted the Play Store, but we're going to stick with AOSP. And just as easily, we can run our tests on that device using the Android test task modified with the build variant and the name of the device. But we want to run the tests on more than one device. And you can do that. You can define multiple devices and add them to a device group. And then just as easily, run your Android test task against that group, and Gradle Managed Devices runs your tests across those devices in parallel. Now, the more devices you add, you're going to start hitting your memory and CPU limit. And we're trying to help that with that using something called automated test devices. This is a new type of device image which strips out a lot of the apps and overhead and background process that developers typically don't need when they're running their tests on CI. And this can lead to significant reduction in memory and CPU usage based on your workstation. And here, it's just as easy as targeting that uh, device, uh, image uh, type, so AOSP-ATD. And we only currently support API levels 30 and 31, but we are adding more along the way. Now, with the additional resources that you're saving, you could either run on more de device configurations, or you can even use uh, test sharding to execute your tests even faster. Gradle Managed Devices is stable in AGP 7.3, and 7.4 is in beta with even further stability and performance improvements. And we're continually improving that feature, so please give it a try and provide us feedback. Now, there's one aspect of testing on devices we haven't covered, and what if you need to test on real physical OEM devices, for which sometimes there is no substitute? For that, we're turning to Firebase Test Lab. And in the latest AGP, you can now target any of Firebase Test Lab's virtual or physical devices as a Gradle managed device. So you get the benefits of test caching and seamless integration that GMD provides now with FTL devices. So once you're authenticated via G Cloud, you just add the new Firebase Test Lab plugin to your build, and then you target the Firebase Test Lab device type in your device definition. And it's just that easy. So please give it a try in the latest version of AGP 8.0. We are continuously uh, continuing to develop this feature, so any feedback is really welcome. 
And that's Gradle Managed Devices, a feature in Android Gradle plugin we hope makes it easier, more scalable, and with the power of Firebase Test Lab uh, for you. And I think that's my cue to leave. Thank you so much. <laughs>